Hello everyone, and welcome to a brand new Railroad Tycoon 3 scenario video let's play. Um, so, essentially, like 2016, 2017, I recorded myself doing the Path to Reconstruction France scenario, which starts in 1950 by default. You can choose to start in 1945, 1950 or 1955. I'm going to start in 1950, of course playing on Expert. Uh, the thing is, is that when I recorded it last time and did it, I did get a gold medal on Expert, and I actually found it rather simple. The thing is, is I've not actually played the scenario in a long time, probably not since I actually recorded it. And when I did record it last time, I played with the maximum number of AI, uh, which is four, and uh, I did the electric um, train route, which is, you know, probably recommended over Steam. Because only a madman would probably use steam in 1970s France. The thing is, is that by having 4 AI, there was some weird glitch or bug or fault in the programming, which basically meant that I got the bonus for using electric, but it kind of stacked on itself, such that I was basically getting electric trains for no cost and no maintenance cost. And I was getting ridiculously good electric trains that would do 100 miles an hour for free. So, I figured, why not set myself the challenge of having no AI players, which means that if I use the electric trains and get the bonus, it only applies for me once, and I don't get the trains for free, I just get them at the normal discounted rate, which is basically how you're meant to play the scenario anyway. But then I thought, why not use Steam? Is this scenario actually winnable on Expert with gold medal with Steam locomotives? So I'll have no AI, so I'll have no um, competitors to worry about. Um, you know, I don't have to buy out enemy companies. Um, but I also don't have to deal with AI track. Um, but yeah, I haven't played this scenario in ages. And also, which way around this map meant to go? Yeah, that's right. Okay. Um, not all the maps rendered properly, but no worries. Okay. While the books will say we won this war, the countryside won't be able to show it for some time. The task of reconstruction has fallen upon you. The government has given you 25 years. So yeah, we're we'll playing from 1950 to 1975. Like I said, only a madman would use steam in 1970s France to get the nation back on track. The biggest need, the biggest decision you'll have to, fuck off. The biggest decision you'll have to make is which type of locomotive you favour, steam or electric. Either way, you'll need to find some way to generate enough power to give France the jump start it needs. You have only 25 years to achieve your goals. Bronze, rebuild the main transit line connecting the cities of Paris, Orléans, and Bordeaux. You must also buy or build at least one power plant and generate 1,000 gigawatts of electricity. Silver. As for bronze, you must also connect Lyon and Marseille to your line. Um, so we have to basically connect Paris, Orléans, Bordeaux, Lyon and Marseille. And generate 3500 gigawatts of power through your company, power plants, and collect 1.5 million in industry profits. Gold. Requirements save as silver, so Paris, Lyon, Marseille, Orléans and Bordeaux. Except you must have 5 million in industry profits and generate 8,500 gigawatts of power. So, yeah, basically industry is the way to go in this scenario because you don't have that much in the way of um, connecting requirements. And you also don't have to, like, haul certain loads of cargo to certain cities, you know, like hauling weapons to Paris or clothing to Bordeaux or whatever. Um, before you go any further in planning your railroad, you are faced with a tough decision. With an abundance of coal, steam engines require much less fuel costs than normal, and are still being developed by Chapelon. Electric seems to be catching on everywhere else though, and with a strong power base, their costs could be made much cheaper as well. With the current lack of power, however, they will be even more expensive than usual. What do you think? The coal is already there, and I have faith that we can make steam work. Electrics. Any extra power they need, I can get produced. Yeah, so we're, we're going to go with coal and steam. The coal is already there, and I have faith we can make steam work. I do have faith we can make steam work, even in 1960s, 70s France. 
Um, so yeah. First things first, if we actually look at the industry, well, not the industry map, the cargo map, there's not a great deal of cargo lying around. There's a few stacks here and there. Um, but like I said, I think basically industry is the way to go at the moment. Um, yeah, so basically we've got to connect yeah, Paris, Lyon, Marseille, Orléans, Bordeaux. Five million in industry profit is not a lot in 25 years. It's two hundred thousand dollars a year on average, and generate eighty-five hundred gigawatts of power. Okay, so if we look at power plants, uh, there's your typical coal, oil power plants, and then there's also uranium, which is uh, nuclear plants. There's currently one load of uranium on the map, and it's being produced in Turin in this warehouse, which actually handily supplies coal, oil, and uranium, and it converts cheese into lumber. Don't ask how that's possible. Um, you don't want to be making wood out of cheese, that just sounds weird. But um, there's actually no demand for uranium, which means there's no nuclear plants at present. There might be later on, and nuclear plants do generate more power in this game than regular plants. And I think they also can be more profitable to buy, but um, power plants in this game generally don't make much of a profit. You're better off buying, you know, regular industry. Also interestingly, um, you'll notice that there's clothing featured, although there's currently no loads of clothing, and clothing is demanded by houses, um, but there's currently no loads of clothing. There's also no cotton, and there's no wool, and so there's going to be no textile mills, so Clothing exists for a reason, and I'm not entirely sure what it is. I think it's something to do with warehouses or ports. Um, I'm not entirely sure. Uh, but anyway, if we look at coal, uh, there's a bit of coal floating around here and there. Probably not enough to actually really do anything. This uh, power plant, you can see it's making a loss, even though it's being supplied with lots of coal, and that's probably because it doesn't have any oil. So even though it has coal to make the power, it doesn't have coal and oil to generate any kind of profit. If we look at oil, there's not really much oil. There's oil being... There's oil supplied in Marseille, and Marseille is actually one of the cities we have to connect to. Um, this also converts alcohol into clothes. Again, don't ask how that's possible. And it converts cheese into iron. And plastic into tyres. Don't ask how any of this is possible. It also demands cars. Or automobiles. But, um... First things first, we need to create an actual company. And seeing as we are French, we might as well create the SNCF. Uh, I forget exactly what it stands for, but it's, you know, the National Railway of uh, France. Like, state-owned. So I don't know what it stands for, um, but we are SNCF, and we start with 1.65 million, or 1.64 million. Uh, obviously we don't actually care about personal net worth, which is very useful, so we can basically set the dividend permanently at zero, and issue stock. 1.784 million. Um, so seeing as we need industry, uh, we might as well buy out some farms or breweries or something. If we look, are there any good breweries or anything we can buy? Because I feel like alcohol might be the way to go here. Uh, but, mm, no. Maybe farms? If we look at access, I've got access to France, Belgium and Luxembourg. Germany costs quite a bit to get into. Um, Technically, this should be West Germany, because it's 1950. Uh, there's also kind of a reason why. I mean, you know, there, wa there was a war. Um, but it's quite hilarious that they actually set the price to 1.3 billion, rather than just simply saying you can't get access to Germany. Uh, Britain costs 600,000. Spain, 1 million. Yeah. 
I don't think we're going to be needing to buy access to any of these plum trees, but um, the option is there if we absolutely need to. So, what is in Belgium and Luxembourg? I'm also actually going to save the game. So this is France Expert LP. Right. Uh, what's in Belgium that we could buy? There's a uh, chemical plant. That's actually pretty cheap. We could buy that. Um, there's a meat plant that's very expensive not worth buying. Logging camp could be worth buying because it's very cheap. This cattle ranch could be worth buying actually because that's a nice investment. That's 11% um, return on investment. Uh, ooh, that's steel mill. I mean, it's very expensive. It can get coal from like nearby mines and stuff. And there's a near, there's a few nearby iron mines. Oh, hang on, this is in Germany, so I can't buy it even if I wanted to. Damn, that's annoying. Okay, uh, let's stick with France. So besides farms, are there any? Hmm, can't afford that even with a bond. Kind of annoying. Um, I could afford that meat plant. And there's a plentiful supply of livestock. I would have to take out a bond and spend all of my money. Ooh, that's a nice... That is a nice profit. Is there a plentiful supply? There's quite a lot of milk nearby. What about this dairy processor? Yeah, that's nice as well. Oh wow, that is a, that is a good dairy farm. Okay, I'm going to take out a bond and buy this dairy farm and that dairy farm, and then I've basically run out of money. Yeah, dairy farms are very expensive, but they're generally very good investments because they're generally very profitable. I buy this? No, I can't buy it. Actually, I just realised. No, I don't think I can buy anything else. Uh, maybe like a cheap grain farm. Anywhere? No, probably not. What about that cheap logging farm that I saw earlier? I'm literally looking for something that's... Um... I mean, I only have $220,000 with which to buy something, so... It is going to be like a grain farm or a logging farm that's not going to be very profitable, but... There might be something worthwhile that I can afford to buy. Maybe not. Not looking promising. Um, is there really nothing that I can buy? All these industries are just too expensive. There is that chemical plant. Is there a demand for chemicals? Yeah, there is in this munitions plant. There's also a demand for steel, which is uh, being produced in Germany. So, hmm. It's a shame I can't get into Germany, because I feel like it would be very profitable to do so. But I might just buy this chemical plant. Or I might actually save my money up. Because where was that logging plant? Was it a logging plant? I swear there was something. Yeah, this. Is there a demand for the pulp wood? Mm, a small demand. It's quite a big demand for logs in Strasbourg. With this lumber mill. Which is very profitable indeed. Okay, what about this logging camp? No, it's too expensive. Um, it's a bit like bargain hunting this, I'm just literally looking for anything- Ah! This logging camp. I'm literally looking for anything that I can buy that- Yeah, I'll buy this logging camp. And then we basically just uh, sit around and wait for some profits to come in. So, just to recap, uh, after all that, we basically bought two dairy farms and a logging camp. Uh, the logging camp is near Nancy in France, and the dairy farms were... Ah, uranium mines appeared near Newt. I have no idea if that's the correct pronunciation. Quite frankly, I'm not too bothered either. Um, but yeah, the dairy farms are both near Chateauroux. 
Oh, there's Neort. Right. So, this will supply uranium, but there's no demand for uranium, so it's not going to make any profit. Or at least it shouldn't be. So hopefully it actually stays there. And it doesn't just shut down because it doesn't make any profit. This doesn't seem safe in the slightest. It seems like it's about to explode. But um, we are we are making profit. I mean, it would have been. It's possible that um, you know I could just build trains, and that might have actually made a profit. But I think, given that we have an industry profit requirement, I think it's safer and simpler to just go with industry for the time being. Um, because in, with industry you're kind of basically guaranteed a profit, especially if you just go with farms. Uh, it might not be as much necessarily, but it's, it's a pretty surefire way. And um, it certainly satisfied the industry requirement goal. So we could actually take out another bond. Not going to just yet. I could buy that grain farm. I could buy that one. Yeah, the return on investment is probably going to be lower now that um, some time has passed. Probably not going to be able to get really good industries anymore. Can I buy another dairy farm? There's a whole lot of these dairy farms. And that's a really good dairy farm. We're going to buy that. Yeah, there's absolutely loads of these dairy farms. I mean, to be fair, France does like its cheese. Um, and yeah, this this dairy processor is making good profit. And probably this one as well. Oh, not as much. Maybe because it's quite far away from the milk. What about this one in uh, New York? Yeah, small profit, but the main one is the one in uh, in Limoges. Which unfortunately cost two million, so it's well out of my budget. So, it's going to be a bit weird because we've got no AI and because I'm the only company and I'm not building track and trains, there's just going to be like nothing going on really. Um, yeah, I don't care about that. Yeah, so we've basically already made 800,000 in industry profit. Um, it's a bit weird because that's like the same as my company revenue. But then I have to pay expenses and interest. So is that industry profit or industry like income? No, it is industry profit. That's weird. I had to pay interest on the loan. Right. Okay. Um, so anyway, we've not yeah, we, we've we've um, made eight hundred thousand, eight hundred one thousand. And we only need five million in industry profit anyway. Um, so yeah, it's a, it's a really low industry profit requirement because we're probably going to be making like well a lot more than a lot more than five million probably by the time this scenario ends. I don't want to take out too many bonds. I don't want to bankrupt myself at the end of the day. Also, yeah, maybe not the best investment, but it's profitable. And the thing is, is that for every bond I take out, although I'm paying pretty high um, interest, I'm still only paying, like, say, you know, 57,000 in interest a year. And if that allows me to buy an industry that's making, 
you know, $60,000 a profit, then it basically actually does increase my company profit and it's worth doing. Also, there was a message there saying something about plastic. Um, I think, was it saying that um, something about toys like toys will only... I don't know. I didn't actually read that. I, I feel like I probably should have read it. I just assumed it was a thing saying that uh, toy factories will only make toys out of plastic and not wood, but I didn't actually read what it said. It said something like... Um, it said something like the, the people are taking to the newfangled plastic, but I didn't actually read what it said. Uh, I probably should have read it. Whoops. Oh well. I'll be able to read it in my own video, but obviously by that point I'll have already uploaded the video, so it's too late for me, but you'll be able to see it as a, um, as a viewer. Right, with the current lack of power in France, industries are not able to work at maximum efficiency. If you can manage to haul raw materials to power plants and generate at least 250 gigawatts of power each year, then this should provide more than enough energy for these industries to operate at full production. Um, right, so basically, uh, we're going to need to buy a power plant and generate 250 gigawatts of power a year. Which, to be fair, don't forget that our main requirement is actually to generate 8,500 gigawatts of power um, for gold. 1,000 for bronze. So, at some point we are going to have to buy uh, or build our own um, power plant. And unfortunately Unfortunately, ah, actually, well, there is one at Amion. It's not really generating much power, though. And it also costs 850,000 to build or buy. The one at Orleon, yeah, 850,000. So we'd have to basically. We'd have to, yeah, there's, there's no way to generate enough power because they're only essentially producing about 40 uh, gigawatts per year. So we'd have to have like five of these plants, which isn't really feasible. Can't issue stock. Could take out. Well, we can take out some bonds and then buy a plan. Uh, it might be worthwhile to actually start um, start building some trains. Maybe like from Amiens to Paris and then to Orléans. I mean, I don't really want to buy the electric plant just yet, because it is, it is making a loss, but it could be worthwhile to start building some trains. I mean, I do have to connect Paris to Orléon anyway. I just kind of wish there was actually, like, stuff in Paris. But maybe, maybe actually now is the time to take out a load of bonds and um, get some trains going. Right, let's save the game. So we do need to connect to Orléon anyway. Actually, how do I want to do this? Yeah, that probably works. Okay, so, all the on... Actually, what's in shark to... Very profitable meat plant. That I could almost afford. Oh well. Um, right, so since we're going with steam locomotives, we have only steam locomotives available to us. We do have the Mallard, which is very expensive to buy and very expensive to maintain. It's got very good stats, although it's useless on hills. Uh, it's got decent pulling power. 
The Class O one is expensive to maintain, uh, and is actually slower than the Mallard, which also makes sense. Better on hills. The H10 is very good on hills, although we don't really have hills because we're in France, so it's quite flat. Um, the H10 is very good all around. It's um, you know it's good for express. It's fairly cheap to buy. Reasonable maintenance costs. I think we're honestly probably going to go with the Kriegslock. Um, Because it's the cheapest to buy, the cheapest to maintain. It's very good. It's actually got very good stats, very good fuel economy, decent, re good reliability. The other alternative is to go with the H10, but it's um, it's more expensive to buy and maintain. But uh, yeah, the Class 01 isn't really worth going for. If you're going to go with the Class 01, you might as well just use the, the H10. Because when it actually comes to pulling, you know, like a full car load, the Class 01 is really only useful if it's pulling, like, say, four or five loads. Um, I guess because it's an express train. Meh. Yeah. Let's go with locks. They're, they're cheap and cheerful. Right, um, let's connect all the on up with Paris. also connect up with Amion, preferably avoiding the, uh, yeah, preferably avoiding, like, the gradients. Okay, that's not nice. So yeah, um, there's a hell of a lot of coal in Orleon because of this um, electric plant, but unfortunately it's going to need a lot of oil as well, and the oil is unfortunately only like really in Marseille. Uh, if we could get coal over to like Marseille, then we could get the um, we could build like an electric plant in Marseille, but there's no coal near Marseille, so there's a hell of a lot of coal, like, yeah, coal is sort of centralised in the mines near clermont ferrand and then it makes its way up the Loire River to Orléans, but uh, near a supply of oil, yeah, there just isn't the oil. Uh, which is a shame. But we could also connect up to Amion and then maybe like Lille, and once we get the money we can start connecting up all these cities. Also bearing in mind we actually do need to connect up to Bordeaux, uh, Lyon and Marseille. But... There's actually not a whole lot of cargo, and this is why I don't think it's necessarily a good idea to start with trains. It's interestingly, it's interesting that there's 224 loads of passengers, and 128 loads of mail, and yet nobody wants to go from Orléans to Paris. You'd think that would be quite a popular route, but no, apparently not. There's not a great deal we can actually haul between Orléans and Paris. Just a bit of meat, milk. There's actually probably more profit from Orléans to Paris than the other way around, but oh well. Uh, Missing some service. Yeah, that slight bend is a bit annoying, but there is a bit of a hill here, so it's nothing the Kriegslot can't handle. The Kriegslot can handle a decent gradient. Um, is there any like more industry I could? buy at present that would be worthwhile buying. So the other alternative is just keep building track and trains. I can probably afford just about to connect to Amion. Well, 
I might have to use a wooden bridge. It's 239 for me to do that. How much is a wooden bridge? Yeah, it's a bit of a saving. As it happens, I do have enough to connect to iron anyway. I can probably get away with them. Yeah, I can just about get away with the medium station. For now. And Amion has a bit of coal we can ship over to Orleon. We actually have some passengers, but they don't actually want to go anywhere, which is odd. There's also a bit of grain we can ship to Amion. Um, so we could do something like Amion to Orleon, and then Orleon to Paris. We'll probably start in... So it's like... Orleon, Paris, Amion. Yeah, Orleon, Paris, Amion. To, back to Orleon. We we'll start in Orleon. And that's actually making quite a lot of money hauling a load of milk. Uh, we're probably going to need more maintenance and service here, though. And then I've got a tiny little bit of money left over. So, yeah. A nuclear power plant has been for the first time near Lille. Uh, okay. Where was that uranium? Yes, yeah, so that's going to generate... Yeah. You can see, like, the price of uranium is zero everywhere. Except at this nuclear plant that's generating massive amount of price for uranium. Yeah. It's pretty ridiculous. The uranium is in New York, so if we manage to connect to New York, and then, um all the way up to Lille, then that'll be uh, big money for us. And also, actually, we're making a lot of profit now. We are in economic prosperity, and... Um, yeah, the coal is making its way over to... Uh, Orléans. But the thing is, is that even with all the coal in the world, this is never going to make a profit, and it's also probably never going to produce that much power, because it needs the oil. Stock's going to split. So I can't issue stock, so I would make quite a lot of money, but... Oh well. Wait, did the stock not split? No, the stock didn't split. Okay. So I think, basically, obviously we need to connect to um, Bordeaux, but we want to do that via Newort. So if I can get to Newort and pull some of this uranium over, thankfully I can build a connected track as well. So the uranium is... yeah quite in New York. I'm going to have to build it something like this, actually. Yeah. And then build a medium station in New York properly. So this is going to be New York Junction. And this is going to be Newt properly. There we go. Um, hopefully, I've actually got enough money to connect Newt up with Orleon. That way. That's one to nine for doing that way. Okay, so a bit of two percent gradient, but that's no big deal. Three percent when you go over the bridge, but yeah, that's fine. So uh, 
Um, there's a massive demand for uranium in Amion. Well, there's not a demand as such, but there's, um, you know, the price differential is so great because of the nuclear plant. It's just. Um, created such a price differential that even though there's actually no demand for the uranium in Amion, we can basically just ship the uranium over to there anyway, and it's going to make a big profit. Yeah. 107,000 per load. So is there anything in New York that we could ship over? Anybody wants to go to or from there? No. Uh, a bit of demand for, like, cheese. Grain. Bit of, yeah. It's just a bit of stuff here and there. But nothing major. Really, the whole point of New York at the moment is this uh, uranium. Now, if I were to buy this plant, which is extremely expensive, that would generate a hell of a lot of power once the uranium starts coming in. You know, I'm not, not a fan of that bend, but... Uh, is there anything I can really do about that? I suppose if I just delete that track, then I can probably... Yeah, I'll keep it for now, but when I get more money, then I'll get rid of it. So we want to connect up to Lil. Some very nasty bonds going on at the moment, but hopefully the company is reasonably profitable anyway, but it doesn't matter that I've got these bonds. So is there anything in Brussels that's worth sort of connecting to? There's a lot of stuff in like Namur and Yeah, more electric plants. A munitions factory that wants steel and chemicals. Ah, there, yeah, the chemicals are in Brussels. So this chemical plant is actually making a steady profit each year. I wish that house wasn't in the way, but oh well. Right, so Brussels and then Lille. Right, Brussels has some chemicals we can ship over to Orléans. Um, Lille has alcohol that wants to go over to Paris or New York. In fact, probably change this so that it goes from New York to Lille. Don't really need Amiens. Yes, yeah, so this is going back to the... Would actually make more money going back to Lille. So let's send it over to Lille. And also this video is going to be full of mispronunciations of town names, because I don't know how to pronounce some of these French town names. So, we don't currently have a train coming to or out of Brussels. A lot of mail wants to go to Lille. And also, like, Paris, which is interesting. Ooh, speed record! Average speed of 17 miles an hour! It's not exactly fast. Do that in like 1840s. In like 1955. Um, a lot of meat we can ship over from Paris to Brussels. 
also some milk. Alright, how did we do for profit last year? We didn't make as much. And that's purely because of the interest. Yeah. It's not good, that. We'll take out a bond and do Paris to Brussels. Yeah, all these boxcars is alcohol. So, I suppose it makes sense that there's so much alcohol. We are in France. Oh, Niort to... Yeah, I didn't build um, maintenance and service. Whoops. Probably also actually need one like around here and here. I mean, to be fair, the, the Kriegslok does have outstanding fuel economy, but even so, steam trains need water. Okay, we're making we're making uh, more profit this year, which is good. Uh, we need to buy a plant of some kind. We also need... Oh wow, actually making a small profit. Right, if we can make 850,000 then we'll buy out this electric plant. Uh, we will basically need about three electric plants to make 250,000 or 250 gigawatt hours. So. Getting a getting um, eight and a half thousand gigawatts might be quite challenging, but then again, yeah, this uh, nuclear plant, whilst extremely expensive, does generate a lot of power. They're highly annoyed with us because oh wow, we only made a hundred. Bloody hell! Yeah, my expenses and interest is uh, not good. I could do with better. Well, my industry is just not making a profit, or what? Like the dairy farms are making profit. No, my industries are making profit. It's just that the trains themselves. You no, know, the trains are making profit, but. Yeah, we're just um, not making massive profit. That could be because of the steam, or it could just be the nature of the scenario, I don't know. Yeah, this is the thing about plastic. Children no longer want wooden toys, they only want shiny plastic toys. Toy factories have stopped accepting lumber, they only accept plastic now. That's fair enough. The annoying thing is, is that um, I have to buy electric plants for the scenario objective, but they're basically just going to make me lose money anyway. Uh, it's also entirely possible that I've actually started building track and trains too soon. And I should have been going with more industry. Is there anything I can do between, like... Yeah, I'm just wondering if it's worth getting a train from Lille... Yeah, Lille to Brussels, if I don't already have one. Which I don't think I do. No, I don't. Okay, Lille to Brussels. And we're going to need a maintenance and service. The investors are probably a bit unhappy as well because the share price goes down because I keep issuing stock. Oh wow, this brewery in Lille is making a fortune. It's also extremely expensive to buy. If I had three and a half million, I could just buy this nuclear plant, but uh, unfortunately I don't, so I can't. I just realised I've got Newark Station, and yet I don't actually have anything going to or from Newark itself. So, there seems to be a lot of cheese in um, Paris that I could ship over. 
There's also Orleon actually, so let's do Orleon to Newark. It's a long way, but um Casually shipping some uranium. Like you do. The trains are actually reasonably profitable, it's just yeah, as a company, we're not very profitable. But then again, we don't need to be profitable, because we don't actually have to connect many cities. The main requirement is to buy the power plants and um, generate power. Right, 24 miles an hour now. It's uh, getting to the sort of speeds they were doing in about the 1850s. Wow! Yeah. Mind you, I suppose if it's only got a top speed of 50 miles an hour, it's not going to be that fast. Pulling the full car load. Um, economic forecast growing prosperity. Weren't we already? Oh, we went to prosperity, then we went to normal, and now we're in prosperity again. Okay, well that's good. It means I make more profit. Right, I could actually buy this plant now. The question is, do I buy the... I can't buy both the Amion plant and the, um, the Orion plant. There is also one in Tours that's generating a hell of a lot of power, actually. Okay, I'm going to buy this. And, um... I could try and connect up to Tours via the south part of it. Would that work? Yeah, that would work. Okay, so Tors has. Uh, Tors actually has a bit of oil? Where's it getting the oil from? Where's this oil coming from? Is it just simply making its way over from. Marseille up to Le Crusoe via the Sion River. Huh. Okay. Um, what's in Bordeaux? There's quite a bit of cargo flying around. There's a big lumber mill that's very profitable. There's also distilleries making a bit of profit. So, yeah, basically, now we just need to ship a load of coal over to Tours. Uh, no passengers, no mail. We we'll ship some... Hmm. Yeah, this is going to get confusing. Because there's, there's, there's coal and iron... Not coal and iron coal and oil floating around, and um, I basically now want it all to be in Tours, but it might get shipped around and taken in and out of Tours so that my plant doesn't necessarily make money. I don't know, like this is a bit annoying. I suppose I could ship it over from Amion to Tours, that, yeah that, that's the sensible thing to do ship the coal over from Amion to Tours. Because if an electric plant makes power, but I don't own it, that's a bad thing. I only care about electric plants that I own making power. Yay, we made 10 gigawatts of energy. Wow. Long way off the 8500 that we need. So I, I, I could actually upgrade this. If it, if it if it actually has enough coal and oil, then I could actually upgrade this. It is actually making a small profit as well, which is very unusual for a power plant. Power plants almost never make money, but then I suppose if you provide them with enough um, coal and oil. And that's the critical part. Coal and oil, not just one or the other. Maybe they can actually make a profit. 
Although this company is not making much profit. Which is a shame. I mean, this won't make the um, 250 a year that we need for the bonus, whatever that is. But um, they're actually pleased with us. We did make 329,000 in profit last year. We've actually almost hit the industry profit requirement of 5 million already. Um, the main problem is that we've only generated 106 gigawatts. Hitting 1,000 is going to be easy. Hitting 8,500 might be a challenge. We might end up just having to buy loads in the way of uh, unprofitable power plants. I'm going to upgrade this, though. And I think the next thing we need to worry about is getting over to Bordeaux. Although Leon is... Uh, Leon's over there. Getting them Leon and Marseille isn't really easy. What the hell's in Troyes that's generating... Oh, it's another power plant. Yeah. So at some point we're going to need to buy another plant to generate enough power. In fact, oh, government, um, not government, boom times, that's uh, really good. Oh dear. Oh, bloody hell, it crashes like... Train crashed just as it was about to hit Lil, like... It's there, and there's Lil, and it would have made a lot of money. Ah oh, well. Should have actually sent it over in meals. Never mind. It's above average reliability. Yeah, the only train that's really more reliable than the free slot we can get is the H10. Which actually, to be fair, maybe the H10 is better overall, but. more reliable and better for passengers. Slightly faster and worse fuel economy. But I think overall it's probably actually better. Right, um, we can buy another power plant. We could actually buy the one in all the on. But it's not actually generating that much power. Probably because all the coal's being moved away over to my one in tours. What about this one in Troyes? It's not actually generating that much power. Okay. Um. There's now another uranium mine. In Newark itself. That's interesting. Boeing 707 commercial jet introduced. Experts predict passengers will flock from rails to air travel. Um, I mean, that's kind of fair enough, because Express isn't our main concern. Right, let's connect over to Bordeaux, seeing as we actually have to do that for the requirement anyway, like the scenario objective. I don't actually know what's really in Bordeaux. There is a lumber mill that seems to be very profitable. So we can't buy it, but we could... Um, all lumber here and there. Paris Orléans, sorry, Paris Orléans and Bordeaux connected. SNCS links up these three major French cities, giving industries a new main line for transportation. Excellent. Um, what can we ship over? A couple of passengers want to go to Niort, Brussels, Orléans. Yeah, just kind of all over the place, really. Ship a load of lumber over to Paris. Or. Yeah, Paris is a long way away though. That's the only problem. We do a short train from Bordeaux to New York, and then another one from like Bordeaux to Paris. That's making a lot of money, that's nice. Yeah. Yeah, we need more 
pull, I reckon, going to towards. So this thing that is actually... I think it just needs the oil, but the oil is not really forthcoming. Unfortunately, this plastics factory is taking up quite a lot of oil in Le Creuseau. Um. Hmm. Right, let's just let's just see how we go and, and pause the game. So we've got another bond. I'm actually gonna connect over to Troyes and then with the intention of then going over to Le Crusoe and then by, and then Leon. Passengers that pulled forward the ship over to Paris, actually. The other alternative is actually that I just buy this um, buy this power plant. Would be simpler. And then do Paris to talk Paris to Troye. With a load of alcohol. Right, so this isn't going to make a profit, but it does need coal, which is in Paris and Orléans itself, so we probably want to do Orléans to Troye. Although, actually, at some point, I probably want to buy this Orléans plant as well. Never built maintenance and service between Bordeaux and Newark like a plonker. So my trains keep running out of water. Yeah, the company's actually making a good profit now that we're in an economic boom and we've got good train connections here and there. Fourth Republic falls. The Fourth Republic has come to an end in France, issuing in a new government spearheaded by Charles de Gaulle. The state of country and business is uncertain. What that is going to mean for me, I have no idea. Annoyingly, there's no way to know how much power I'm generating per year, but I've only generated 326 uh, in total. We still need to pull. We'll still need um, eight and a half thousand for gold. Stock split three for one. Um, that's really good. Right, we can get some bonds. 10%. I could actually refinance some of these bonds. Um, at 12% and get them for 10%. did buy this. Yeah, let's buy the um, the Orleon plant. And also, there's actually one... There is one at Amion. It's generating quite a lot of power, actually. Let's buy that. And then... another plant over at Namur in Belgium. Yeah, there's, these, these, there's actually a lot of, um, there are a lot of these uh, electric plants. But yeah, we want to connect over to Dijon, Le Crusoe and Lyon. 
when we have the money to do so. Yeah, if you look at our industries, the electric plants are basically not making profit. So, we could do with some bigger industries to ensure industry profits. So much green in all the arms, I'm wondering if I could build my own brewery. It would cost two million to do so. That brewery is actually just upgraded, literally, like, right this now. Or, oh, right this instant. Right this now? Hmm. That's not correct English. Still can't issue stock, annoyingly. Economic boom fading, not too surprising. Because I'm not actually making much money this year, weirdly. Although I am paying more in interest. And also I did buy some uh, unprofitable electric plants. Speaking of which, we now generated 638 gigawatts of energy. Um, probably still not quite hitting the 250 required. Although actually, may, may, no, actually no. Last year it made a lot of power. This year not so much. Yeah. You see, this is the problem: is that there's there's um, coal being shipped around from city to city. So like all the on to tours, I'm shipping coal to and from because there's demand. But also there is demand for coal in all the on itself. So, it's entirely possible I'm actually sort of sabotaging my own plants by shipping the coal away. But anyway, um, let's connect over to Dijon. Hopefully we've got enough money to do so. I don't know what is in Dijon, but um, quite a lot of hills nearby, which is not ideal. Though it seems like I've mostly managed to avoid them. Right, that should be okay. Or do I need a large station? I'd need a large station if I did something like that, actually. But I think for now, I'll just go the medium. So, seems like I could ship stuff over to Orleon. Yeah. So let's do Orleon to Dijon. Yeah, we can ship ship quite a lot of um, alcohol. A lot. Actually, like passengers and stuff in Orleans, and I'm thinking Orleans and Paris probably want hotels. So let's do Orleans to Dijon, and I'm going to need maintenance and service, which is something that I never built between Orleans and Troy, like a plonker. Why am I forgetting to build maintenance and service every goddamn time? Right, let's get a. Um, Let's get a hotel in Orleon. And restaurant. And post office. And then a tavern when we've got enough money. So these actually do count to industry proper. Even though they're not really industries. Hey! SNCF powers France. By powering, by producing 358 gigawatts of power in this year alone, SNCF lowers the cost of electricity across the board. Uh, whether that means I get like more industry profit or whatever, I don't know. Uh, 
French government still doesn't focus on steam. Uh, I don't know what that means or how I sort of stop that. So, if I wanted bronze, I only actually have to hit a thousand. So basically, hopefully this time next year I should have bronze. For silver, I still need to connect Lyon and Marseille and generate 3500 power. 3500 gigawatts of power. So yeah, Lyon and Marseille should be like... Should be, um, next objective to connect to. Uh... Maintenance is going to be needed there and there. Yeah, that industry profit requirement of uh, 5 million is kind of a joke. Although, we, are not make, we aren't making that much anymore because of these unprofitable um, electric plants that I keep having to buy to generate more power. This nuclear plant actually isn't making that much power anymore. There's a tiny bit of uranium in Troy's. Uh, it's just sort of because it's slowly making its way up, I suppose. Not making profit this year. Having this many bonds is not helping. And also these this many unprofitable um, electric plants. Mind you, the one in Amion's making a profit. But the others are not. Although the one, in, the one in Tours is making a small profit. The thing is, is as I keep trying to say, you don't buy the electric plants in this game normally, because they normally don't make a profit. Um, we're literally only buying them now because we have to. And also, my share price is not doing so good. In fact, the company itself as a whole is not doing so good. We made 420 gigawatts of power this year. Um, unfortunately, um, we've got 14 years left and we still need to make 7,377. Um, so, at the rate we're going, we're not going to make it. We need to produce more power. We need to produce about five or six hundred per year. We also have to need to connect to Lyon and Marseille as well. Which, if I'm not making any money, is not going to be easy. Boom time's ahead. Not really that useful when I can't take out a bond. But we might make more money, profit-wise. Um, are there any trains I can... I feel like there must be some trains I can get to make more money. Like all the on to Brussels? Do I have that? That could be profitable if I don't already have that. Well, not Paris to Brussels and Lille to Brussels, but not all the on to Brussels. Just aren't making that much money for some reason. Right. Chapelon, elated that you've decided to run steam trains along your routes, has approached you with a proposition. If your company can help fund his current idea through to testing and completion, a cost of $350,000, he will make it available to you soon. Without this funding, the locomotive might never see production. What do you say? Uh, I have faith in this ability, 350,000 it is, or I think I'll be fine running what I have now, thank you. Uh, I don't know what it is, but 350,000... Yeah, it's 
probably going to be the Red Devil, because that's the only steam locomotive that becomes available um, sort of late game, and I think the Red Devil is actually pretty good. Wait. Oh, I think I had to play, like, overhead and, like, upkeep and everything. The only thing is, is I think the Red Devil is actually quite expensive. Um, yeah, this is, um, this is an odd one. I, I think I might have messed up by building track and trains too quickly. I think the idea is that you're probably spent, meant to spend most of the scenario just going purely industry. And then when you're making, like, a few million a year, then you build the trains. But, um... Whoops! The company actually made a loss last year, even though we're in an economic room. Really wish I could take out some bonds, just to get me a bit of income. Yeah, I think, I think Steam would work, because the trains are actually profitable, it's just the company isn't. Uh, and I don't really see a way around this, unfortunately. So, Steam would work, um, but unfortunately this company is being managed by an absolute plonker. Me. Almost certainly down enough. Build tra tractor like the reserves. Well, I do have enough to build the track, but I don't have enough to build the station. The company kind of stinks. Algerian War ends. After a bloody and drawn out eight year struggle, the Algerian War is over. People hope to put the events behind them as soon as possible. I have no idea what difference, if any, that's going to make to me. Um, yeah, it's quite worrying that the game is like halfway done. And, um, yeah, I still need to generate like almost 7,000 gigawatts of energy, and I only have 12 years to do it. I need to be generating like 600 a year, and I think we're simply just not producing that much, and I still need to connect to Lyon and Marseille. And I need a large station, really, for Le Crusoe. So, Le Crusoe has some alcohol that we could ship over to Dijon. Some goods that actually want to go over to Troyes. Passengers that we could ship to Orléans. Nobody wants to go to Le Crusoe. Milk to Orléans. Quite a bit of oil that could be shipped over to well, I was going to say it could be shipped over to a, a, a plant in Troyes, but it wouldn't be profitable to do so. But I think uh, Le Crusoe to Troyes could be very profitable. Yeah, assuming I get any money. The company is actually making profit this year. Despite the fact that my funds are very low. And by very low I mean negative. Yeah, we, we, we need 
way, we need to be producing way more power than we are doing. I'm still annoyed with us, even though we made 420,000 in profit last year. Right, let's get a train from uh, Lekuso to Troy, eh? And actually, let's get another one from uh, Orleans to Troy, eh? To Lekuso, sorry. Economic boom fading, but we're still in prosperity. So, if we actually look at nuclear plants, there is actually a nuclear plant in Lyon that's just appeared, but there's no uranium. Yeah, the, the uranium is just all in New York, but there's not a great deal of it. This nuclear plant is actually generating quite a lot of power, but it's also three and a half million to buy, which is a bit out of my budget. Well, we are actually making a big profit all of a sudden, so I don't really know what's going on. It's like the trains have woken up, or maybe the industries have woken up, I don't know. Um, that hotel in Orleans is making 20000 a year. Restaurant's making a profit. Tavern making a very small profit. Post offices never make profit, so I'm not worried about that. Electric plant made a small profit last year. Yeah. Hmm. Do I have enough money to connect to Leon? Probably not. Let's save the game. And also, I don't know how I'm going to connect to Leon because of all these mountains and stuff in the way. Because Lyon to Marseille is reasonably flat, but getting to Lyon itself maybe not that easy. Diversion rather than connecting Leon directly to Dijon, unfortunately. Yeah, and then do something like this. This is this is gonna work. Right, that's a bit nasty. No, it does work actually. There's a tiny bit of 4% gradient, but, uh, you know, the Krieg's Lock is actually good on hills, so that's no problem. Right, I don't think I can issue stock anytime soon, probably got to wait till January. Why are we making so much profit all of a sudden? I'm not complaining, I just don't understand. And also, despite the fact I'm making big profit, apparently, um, we still don't actually have any money. Chapelon has finished his new locomotive. Yarf his gratitude to Jason von Bleichroder, and he hopes that you'll make full use of his latest creation. Is it the Red Devil? No. Wait, what? What the fuck? Okay, first of all, that's a mod. I was not expecting that at all. And also, I'm 
kind of disappointed because it's extremely expensive. It's 30,000 to maintain, but it's very fast. It's actually got very good stats, but it is very expensive. But it could be good for like very long routes, and also we only made 348 power, that's not good. Yeah. So in 11 years, I still need to make 6,000 units of power. There is no way that is possible. Alright. Let's, let's just work on... Um, I suppose if nothing else, we're going to get the silver. This time it's just durable. Right, that's what I want. Okay. Um, so, Leon actually has quite a lot of stuff. So, Leon to Dijon, we could ship a load of cheese. Leon to Amion, even though it's a hell of a long way, would be very profitable. Or Leon to Tours. Leon to Le Crusoe, even, could be quite profitable. Let's do Leon to Troye, just for starters. Well, hang on, was it Leon to Troye or Leon to Dijon that I wanted? I think it was Leon to... No, it was Leon to Dijon. Or Troye. Yeah, Leon to Troye actually could be very useful. There's a lot of oil here, actually, as well. And we do own this plant. That will obviously need a lot of um, oil. So, Leon to Troye. Although Leon to Dijon could also be very profitable. Yeah, oil and cheese. And let's do Leon to Dijon. That's hauling oil as well. Right, normal economic growth for the foreseeable future. My share price is not doing so good. If I could get uranium from Niort to Leon, that would make a lot of money, but it would also... Um, help that nuclear plant, although obviously I don't own it. Yeah, this is a long way, but... Uh, could be profitable. And also I just realised I don't think I built... No, I didn't build maintenance and service anyway. Here, that's very annoying. Did I build a train going to or from... Yeah, I did build a train going from to... Um, Le Crusoe. Yeah, Leon to Dijon needs water. Also, Le Crusoe to Troye. Okay, so we need a water station like over here. And then build a maintenance over here. That should be fine. Wow, we're now up to an average speed of 29 miles an hour. Yeah, we're not making enough power. Um, I mean, it's it was always going to be a challenge with the um, the steam locomotives, and I think it is possible to get gold with steam. It's just I've played this quite badly. Well, 
like I said, I think the way to go is to basically just go all out on the industry at the start, and then once you're making a few million a year, then you start buying the plants and generating the electricity. But there's not there's not loads of uranium. Because nuclear plants, as much as they generate as much as nuclear plants generate more electricity. Um They're very expensive to buy. And if the uranium's not there, then they're just not gonna work, are they? But yeah, next stop is uh, Marseille. We've basically got the silver. We just have to connect to Marseille and generate a tiny bit more power. I mean, I'm, I'm saying we've basically got the silver. It's not, you know, trivially easy that we've got the silver now. The company's actually not making any profit. Not good. Not if you stop. The company's making a small profit, but just not, not, not enough. And yeah, we're not making enough power. It's actually going down each year, I think. Because there's not enough oil. We need the oil, um... From Dijon to... Well, Amion and Tor. Let's do Dijon to Tors. All this oil. And issue stop. When we can. Please let me issue stock, for fuck's sake. I don't know when I can issue stock, this is very annoying. Right, now I can issue stock. It's also possible that I took out too many bonds too early on. Because... I am having to pay like sort of 12% interest and that is quite a lot. Right, I definitely don't have enough money to get to um, Marseille. Do I have enough money to get Marseille up with Nîmes? Just on its own? Probably not, but it could be worth a try. Save the game. Right, where is Neem? Oh wow, yeah, I definitely don't have enough. Unless I've got a wooden bridge. And even then I definitely don't have enough. Okay, um... Well, it was worth a try, but that's about as much as I can build right now. So, this isn't going brilliantly. We're simply just not producing enough electricity, and producing enough profit for that matter. I don't know what I don't know what difference it would have made to go with electric locomotives. Because obviously electric track is more expensive. But maybe electric trains maybe you get some kind of bonus that way. But um Yeah, I think you'd probably just need to go with uh, with more industry, but 
you still have to buy the electric plants, so... Yeah, I guess... How much is this? This is producing a reasonable amount. It's not making any profit yet, but... What about my other electric plants? Like this one. This one's not producing much. Probably because there's not enough... Yeah, the oil's just not there. Where's Tors? Oh, Tors is there. Okay. Yeah, Troye to Orleon. We need to ship the oil. Hmm. It's just not going well. We've got eight years left. Still need to connect to Marseille. Um, and we need another 5,000 units of electricity. Which is, like I say, about another, you know, it's like sort of 600 plus per year, which is like 200 more gigawatts per year than we're producing. There's not really anything in Neem. Some, uh, well, there's a lot of oil that we could ship from Marseille to Neem. A couple of passengers and stuff, so... May as well get a train going from Marseille to Neem. Connecting Neem to Lyon ain't gonna be easy. The two of an economic boom. We have actually passed the silver requirement of three and a half thousand gigawatts of electricity. So, on the assumption that I can actually connect Leon to Neem, then we're going to get silver. But how much is that going to cost? Probably quite a lot. Am I going to get some kind of bonus for doing so as well, like preferably cash? Just as a rough guide, this is going to cost, well, one million if I do it with a giant bridge. But, um, obviously that's not what we're going to do. Also, I never built maintenance and service between Nîmes and Marseille. Whoops. Share price is just going lower and lower and lower. Is fantastic. Yeah, economic boom would be uh, very appreciated right about now, but I don't think it would be enough. France joins the EU. France enters into the EU, hoping that the move will help to improve current business and allow for easier exchanges of material and goods. Um, again, I have no idea what difference that's going to make to me. Oh wow, we're making big profit this year for some reason. Why are we making so big profit this year, and yet last year we actually made a big loss? There's no real logic to it. But, um, still don't actually have quite enough money to get to, uh, Leon. I'm wondering if I can build a, if I build a bridge over here. Would that work? No, it's not letting me build anything out that way. Ooh, 
Okay. I don't want to do this. I think whatever I do, I'm going to have sort of silly gradient in some place. Just thinking about it, if I built a bridge, I'd have to cross over again anyway, so... Yeah, that's, that's definitely not going to work then, is it? I think I literally need about 100,000 in cash to connect those up. We actually made 539 units of power um, that year. Probably maybe to do with the oil, I don't know. But I think it's just too little too late. You know, we've got to, cre we've got to create 4,600 units in seven years. Which is, you know, about 700 a year on average. It's just not going to happen. Unless I maybe buy another plant somehow, but that would require a lot of money, and uh, that plant would also have to be extremely capable of producing power. Yeah, I don't think this is really doable without like a nu without a, a nuclear plant. But even then, like, there's, there's not a great deal of uranium floating around. And this isn't actually producing. Well, it's, it's not getting the uranium though, is it? Not fast enough, anyway. I guess the solution would be to build the nuclear plant in New York itself. Which costs 5.6 million to build a nuclear plant. Um, anyway, let's, let's connect... Um, I was going to say, let's connect uh, Lyon to Marseille with a slightly silly gradient there. That might be able to be fixed with some maintenance some service. Kind of just the worst of it. Lyon and Marseille linked via rail. SNCF has linked Lyon and Marseille rounding out their rail service and providing more efficient transportation for all. Right. So, is there anything in Nîmes now? There's a bit of oil. We can ship over to... Um... Troyer. Must say, actually, doesn't have any oil right now. There's a couple of passengers that want to go over to Troyer from Marseille. Right, let's do um, Nîmes to Troyer. Hopefully, it delivers the oil. Which we've tried to play, that's not good. Yeah, lots of oil. And that's good, because uh, that means that the... Um... So basically now, we don't actually have to build any more track. We just basically create as much electricity as we can. Oh, for God's sake. And I don't have enough money to replace that. Paris Troyer. Right, so yeah, we've got um, about seven years, maybe six years, six and a half bit years, but we still need to, we're only halfway there, we still need to produce another 4,300 uh, gigawatts of electricity 
it's, it's just sort of not going to happen. It's just too little, too late. And I suppose if nothing else, we've got the silver. We've definitely got silver. Yeah, we only made 376 that year. It's just not enough. We need more power. supply of oil in Grenoble, but uh, good luck connecting to it. Unless I'm able to build something stupid like... I was going to say, if I built a uh, large station on like flat terrain, would that work? But no. If I had loads of money, which obviously I don't, I could buy into Italy and build some kind of strange, stupid line from Marseille to Monaco and then into Turin that way, or just tunnel through and then build a line into Turin, and that would give me loads of oil and coal, and maybe a bit of uranium. But um, no, I think this is, this is probably a lost cause. Upgrade this plan, or maybe the oil plan. Growing prosperity. Nice. Yeah, if I can just get some money, then I could upgrade one of these plants. And just create a bit more power. Charles de Gaulle resigns after facing the defeat of his recent political proposals. De Gaulle has resigned from his office. Much requested change can now take place. Um, specifically, what? Am I going to make more money from that, or less money? This is actually making a lot of uh, power, which is good. As is this one. So if I can just get a slight bit more money... Still need another 4,000 units of electricity. Nowhere near. If nuclear plants weren't so expensive, that would help as well. Where's my annual plan? Yeah, it's not doing so well. We still only managed to produce 316 units of power. That's crazy. I don't know what we're meant to do, to be honest. Maybe this just isn't possible with steam. I don't know. Could make this one of the uh, fancy new locomotives. Oops. Go on then. So this is capable of going... Oh, for God's sake. 
All the old Brussels has crashed. But never mind. Yeah, so this new locomotive is actually capable of going at like 100 miles an hour instead of. There you go, speed record of 37 miles an hour. Another train crash between Amiens and Tour. That's quite annoying because that was falling away with coal. And I can't replace it because I don't have enough money. The company's not actually making any profit, which is brilliant! Orleans grown in such a way that most of my station doesn't actually cover Orleans anymore, which is annoying. Orleans to Amion, we could ship the oil away, but we need it in Orleans for the power plants. And I do need to upgrade this plant as well. Where's my plant in uh... This is barely making any... It's just... I think that's the problem, is that... Um, as, I, as I said before... We've got a plant in Tor, and we've got a plant in Orleon, and we've got a plant in Troye, and they're just hauling coal and oil between each other, and probably just sabotaging each other. Very annoying. There's been nothing I can do about that either. Yeah, we've managed to produce 5,000. I think we've got five years left and it's only 3,500, so. We'd have to like double, yeah, we'd have to double what we're producing, and then some, to get the gold. The company is just not, it's just barely making a profit, are they? to give this another go because um, I think if you just go purely industry and then like I say build the railway sort of in the last maybe five years or whatever maybe that's the way to do it but I don't know electric plant here, but it's only producing like the bare minimum, really. Um, how much is it to build my own electric plant out of interest? 1.4 million, yes. It's a lot cheaper to buy a pre-existing one. But there aren't actually that many. And, um, you know, unless they're sort of readily supplied with... Uh, the resources, they're only going to produce about sort of 40 or 50 units of power. Yeah, if I could get three and a half million somehow, I could buy out. I could buy one of these nuclear plants, but uh, good luck with that. So are all my electric plant are my electric plants all upgraded now apart from this Amion one? Yeah, apart from the Amion one, they're all upgraded, so. I guess I'll upgrade this when I get my money, but good luck with that.
We actually made 462 units of power that year, which is more than last year, but uh, it's nowhere near enough. Because we've got like three years to produce 3,000. Yeah. I mean, to be fair, 8,500 units of power in 25 years is um, sort of 350 a year on average and we only started producing power you know maybe like five years into the scenario so we're just not producing enough and that's abundantly clear is also not that profitable, which really doesn't help. This weapons factory has just appeared out of nowhere. I'm going to make that a large station as well. Growing prosperity. There's loads of oil in Dijon that really should be in, like, Troye, for example. Where's the coal as well? Because the coal is sort of just all over the place. There's loads of coal in uh, Agen, or Agen, but then there's no oil in there, so the the plant doesn't produce enough electricity. Yeah, it's very flawed this. I think that's about the limit of the amount of power that they can produce, these plants. When fully upgraded and provided with maximum coal and oil, they still only really produce about 200 uh, yeah. oil in Dijon can be shipped over to Orléon for a good profit. I don't know where the coal is going to come from, although it's already there. Paris has a load of coal. Troye, Tor, and Orléon all have stations, but yeah, let's do Paris to Orléon. Ship a load of coal, hopefully. I'm surprised we're not making more power, though. I mean, we do have uh, four fully upgraded electric plants. Producing enough power. Need more coal and need more oil. I did say that only a madman would run steam in 1970s France and uh, 592. You see, it's almost it's almost enough, like per year, but it's just. Eh, it's done another two and a half thousand, and we've only got two years to do it, so. We're producing like half what we need.
Boom times! Yay! And now there's a uh, electric plant popped up in Le Creuseau. So much oil in Nîmes. Ridiculous. Nîmes to Amiens and Orléans. I mean, if I had more money, I could build like another electric plant in Oleon, but uh, you know, I should just build one myself. But uh, I just don't have the money. All these coal plants or coal mines near Amion, are they making any money? Yeah, it could be worth buying. I think that's the way to do it, is to just buy a load of industry, because the industry makes big profit. But I still don't really know how you're meant to get that much um, power. Maybe you're meant to build a nuclear plant in, like, New York itself. <laughs> oh dear. New York to Orleans has crashed and I can't place it because I don't have enough money. I do now, though. Although it's lost its um, status as a famous train. Oh well. Nothing I can really do about that. Right, let's do New York crossing to Neil. I'm also actually coming up for the two hour mark, so this is going to be very quick. But I think it's pretty obvious at this point that we're going to get silver, so. I might have to end the video before the scenario ends, or actually just end it now and then do like a very quick part two. Yeah, 562 units of power. I think we only have one year left. I'm still another 1900 units of power. The thing is, is there's, there's nowhere to buy a power plant. Really. I suppose I could buy like this one. Point doing fading. New airport opens. The Charles de Gaulle Airport opens. New line of travel is projected to hurt travel by rail considerably. Oh well. I mean, the game's basically over anyway. But yeah, I'm basically coming up for the two hour mark, so I'll just say uh, thank you so much for watching, leave a like, share, comment, subscribe. I'm going to do a very quick sort of part two of this video, but um, yeah, we've basically got the silver.